That <laughs> what is going on guys? Welcome back to another Cyber Hunter video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you all of the customization you can do in the lobby screen of Cyber Hunter from weapons to gadgets to skins to everything you need to know. So remember guys, the servers are open. You can download the game now, but the servers aren't open until the 25th in two days time. So hit that subscribe button, whack a thumbs up and check out the video. Let's go. So here we go guys, uh, this is the uh, slightly different video from my previous videos, I usually upload gameplay videos but this video is going to be about everything you need to, to know about weapons, skins and other stuff in the game so we're going to get straight into it starting with weapons. Okay, so here we go guys. This is the uh, weapon screen for uh, Cyber Hunter. So I'm going to go through each weapon and show you and tell you a bit about it and tell you exactly what it does. So we're going to start off with the Omega Auto SMG. It has an extremely rapid fire rate um, but cannot equip scopes. Recommended for new players. Now, when equipped with an E-Core, uh, damage and stability are increased. Now, an E-Core, guys, is basically like um, a sort of upgrade item that you can lock onto weapons that you can find around and you can pick up on the ground um it basically like boosts the weapon and makes it a lot stronger now this smg is good um the capacity is 25 bullets it's not amazing it hasn't got a great distance as it is an smg the power is not great it's a great um sort of smg if you want to sort of get used to the game um Next up, we have the Foxtrot SMG. Uh, it's got good stability and balanced performance. It's recommended for new players. When this one's equipped with an E-Core, um, the damage to vehicles and quantum materials is greatly increased. Now, this is slightly better than the Omega. It's got slightly better power, distance, and stability, so I would recommend this. Um, the Foxtrot is a great SMG, probably one of the best SMGs on the game. Uh, next up, we have the Sentinel, another auto SMG. This one's got uh, a very rapid fire rate. It's got more rate of fire than the other SMGs. Now, when you equip an E-Core onto this one, uh, the reload time and the aiming down scopes time is greatly decreased. So this one's good for up close battles when you want to quickly ADS at someone. Um, but again, that's the three SMG guys. Uh, geez, guys. In my opinion, the, uh, the Foxtrot is the best one. As you can see, the Sentinel only has an 18 bullet capacity, so it's not great. Um, you really need to hit your shots if you are using that SMG. Next up, we've got the rifles, uh, the Limit uh, Liberty Alpha. Um, this one, in my opinion, is probably the more... Uh, I mean, this is a normal um, rifle. It's a basic rifle. Um, and as you know, guys, I already mentioned you can get basic and advanced rifles. The advanced are slightly better. Um, so you always want to swap the basic rifles for the advanced rifles. Um, this one is the best basic rifle you can use, the Liberty Alpha. It's got a balanced performance. Um, when equipped with the equal, the damage to vehicles and the quantum uh, materials is greatly increased. Um, so this one is very good. It's very balanced. The recoil is very low on it. So... This one's the best basic rifle in my opinion. Second, we have the Delta. Um, now, the Liberty Alphas only have 30 bullets. The Delta can carry 36 bullets. It's very easy to master, but it, the recoil and the accuracy on this is very poor. Um, it requires, as it says there, very good practice, and you have to aim well with it. Um, when you put an, uh, an E-Core on this, but the bullet spray is reduced, so... If you're going to use this rifle, you definitely want to use an E-Core with it. Um, now, the third one is the Direct Confrontation. This is a semi-auto rifle, so it's, um, it fires three round bursts, so it's kind of like a Farmus. Um, Farmas. Uh, when equipped with an E-Core, the firing speed is increased and the recoil is reduced. Um, so that's very good. Um, this one is, isn't is the best rifle. I wouldn't recommend using this one. It only has 24 bullets, but this one has the most power. So if you've got good aim and you want to take someone out quickly, you want to use the direct confrontation. Um, here we go, guys. The Son of the Gun, uh, Son of the Sky. Now, this one is the rifle I always use. If I find this, I'm always going to pick it up. It deals massive damage, but it is hard to master. Now, I've got quite good aim. So if you're going to use this rifle, you want to make sure you've got very, very good aim. Uh, when you equip an eco with this, the headshot damage is increased. So if you can hit your headshots with this, it's literally like a three-shot headshot. Um, so that one is, in my opinion, the best rifle you want to use on this game. It's kind of like the Scar. 
Um, Drake Buster isn't great. It's an auto rifle. It's got little recoil. Uh, stable trajectory and excellent performance. Requires some practice to use. When you use an e-call with this, um, the recoil and the reload time are greatly reduced. So this is another good rifle, the Drake Buster. But I still think the sound of the gun is better. Um, so that's those. Now, on to the Crusader, guys. Now, this is a rare automatic rifle. Now, this... If, um, I mean, you, you don't find these on the ground. Um, you can only find these ones through supply crates, um, etc. So, this is, if, if you find one of these, you want to use this. It shoots purple bullets and it's very powerful. Um, it has all, almost no defects and, don't know why I'm getting ads, it fits uh, for all kinds of combat. So, when equipped with an equal, the firing noise is greatly reduced. So, it's very stealthy as well. Uh, so, it's good for kind of sneaking up on people and taking them out quickly. Um, next up we have the sniper rifles now in my opinion the flamingo is a good sniper rifle but this is a single shot sniper rifle um, the rate of fire is okay it deals average damage um, and with an equal the headshot damage is increased now this is a good rifle um, I still think the soul snatcher this rifle is the best rifle as I've said in previous videos it's a single shot sniper rifle it deals very high damage if you hit to the body, it's a two-shot. So if you hit someone once to the body, and again, it's a two-shot, so it kills them in two shots. Um, and it's a one-shot headshot. So when you equip an e-core on this, the enemies are marked when they hit, so revealing their thermal signals for a while. So if you hit someone and they hide behind a wall, you can they, they show up thermal. So that's why this rifle is the best. It's got great power, great distance. The rate of fire is not great, as it's only a one-shot, but... In my opinion, the Soul Snatcher is amazing. And with that e-core and a the thermal sight when you shoot someone makes it 10 times better. Um, next up, we've got the Empty Coffin. This is a semi-auto rifle, kind of like the PSG. Uh, it's stable with trajectory. It's got a four-time scope automatically equipped on it. None of the other rifles have got any scopes attached. Um, but it deals average damage. And with an e-core, the firing noise is greatly reduced as well. Now, uh, the fourth sniper rifle is the Valkyrie. This is another semi-auto rifle. It's got the most... Uh, bullet capacity at 10 bullets per magazine deals high damage per shot um, the trajectory becomes unstable when firing continuously it's recommended for experts this it is good um, so if you're going to pick a sniper rifle you're going to have either have the soul snatcher for its high damage or the valkyrie for its um, bullet capacity and with an equal the reload time is shortened as well so this is the best uh, rate of fire sniper you can use now onto the shotguns now we've got the tiburon um, this is a good sniper rifle, uh, a good shotgun, it's very good, deals high damage, um, with, uh, you can unlock the skill overcharge assault when equipped with an enhanced core, so with the shotguns, you don't have to put an e-core on them, you put the uh, enhanced cores on them, now this increases damage when you've got an enhanced core on this, um, good power, great shotgun, the killer whale, another great shotgun, this one you equip an e-core, it releases more shrapnel and increases damage, this is good for widespread shot. Uh, with a shotgun thirdly we've got the nightingale now this is a healing shotgun so you restore hp steadily but it doesn't deal any damage so with this you shoot an enemy and all it does is heal you it doesn't do any damage to enemies so this is uh good for when you want to quickly swap to it and get some health over enemies uh, with an e called a skill shield all is unlocked creates a temporary hp shield for nearby allies so this is good if you want to if you're in a squad and you want to kind of you know help your allies out and heal it's basically just for healing uh third we have the uh, sorry fourth we have the vortex this is an arc shotgun there's no need to aim uh, it hardly generates any recoil but deals low damage this is uh great uh gets you the ball lightning skill when equipped with an e-core um releases a slow moving but powerful ball of electricity so this is good um for when kind of enemies are grouped together if you want to kind of take out two enemies at once it'll widespread and it'll hit them both it doesn't do much damage but it's got a good rate of fire and it's got a capacity of 15 bullets so you can kind of spam it um now going on to the special weapons now these weapons are amazing um, in my opinion now this i don't know if this is slightly broken or not i showed this in a previous video this is called the absolute zero it's a heavy weapon it only deals a little bit of damage but it freezes enemies for two seconds um and it constantly freezes enemies and it's got 15 bullet capacity so you could just stand there and keep freezing an enemy over and over and over again 
Um, now with the skill attached to it with the eco, it got, it's got a sub-zero bomb. It fires an ice blast that freezes surrounding enemies. So this is good where you want to kind of um, freeze loads of enemies that are grouped together like the shotgun. Um, secondly, we've got the falling star. This is basically like a grenade launcher. Um, it can quickly tear down quantum constructions, has a rapid rate of fire, it's got low accuracy, so you want to be very good with your accuracy on it. It unlocks the skill Fury of Volley when equipped with an e -core. it fires 3 grenades per shot. So this is a very, very, very good grenade launcher. And finally we've got the Destroyer. This is a heavy weapon, it launches electromagnetic grenades and deals massive AoE damage, so it's similar to a grenade launcher, um, but it's kind of like a beam as well. Uh, it can quickly tear down quantum constructions, has average rate of fire, so it's slightly better than the Fallen Star. Um, the skill Magnetic Missile, uh, when equipped with an E-Core, launches three guided electromagnetic missiles. This is kind of like a rocket launcher. This is the rocket launcher, and the Fallen Star is kind of the grenade launcher. Um, so that's basically every single weapon explained in Cyber Hunter. So now we're going to move on to vehicles. Okay, so we've got the vehicles here, guys. Uh, we've got the... Starting with the Dawnbreaker. Um, you can actually um, get special things attached to these as well. This is basically the standard vehicle in the game. It's pretty slow. Steering's not great. It's, um, it's good for kind of um, people shooting at you. It's got high sort of damage and uh, durability. Um, the Crushing Blade Wheel activates a huge powerful wheel of blades on the front of your vehicle that crushes everything. So when you activate that, you can basically, as you can see it right there at the front, the front comes off and basically like a revolving sort of chainsaw at the front that comes out that you can ride into people. Um, secondly, we've got the Wind Rider. It's a two-seater sports car. It's got average dur durability, but it's got speed. Now, the Nitrous Acceleration greatly increases speed, so you can fly around the map with this one. Um, thirdly is the Cowboy. This is a four-seater sports car. Very fast as well. Great speed. Good durability. Um, and it's got the Nitro Acceleration as well. The Wind Chaser. So, this is what you can use um, to spawn. You can always spawn a Wind Chaser, which is the motorbike in the game. It's got the Nitro Acceleration. Good speed. Not very good durability, so you don't want to use it when you're uh, kind of running away from enemies or trying to avoid bullets. Um, and third, fourth, uh, fifth, we've got the uh, the Wave Chaser, which is the, the only boat in the game, which is a four-seater, and it has Nitro Acceleration as well. Um, there we go. We can also put the boost on here. This is what happens when you actually uh, put boosts on the cars. Got boosts on there. That's what happens in the motorbikes. These are cool animations, guys. Just like that. Got Nitros coming out. Nitros coming out on the Wind Rider. And the Dawnbreaker. There we go, there's the chainsaw that comes out. So once you put that out, you can literally roll into enemies and just run them over. So it's pretty OP, pretty broken, and pretty cool. Okay, next guys, we're going to go through the hero uh, sort of stat screen. So as you know, you can either be a, a man or a woman um, in the screen. Um, so Max, um, it shows a little bit of description on the right-hand side. So if you want to read about the kind of past and stuff of these two characters, you can. We've got Max, and we've also got Zero with a massive thick booty. Um, yeah, you can kind of read all of the stats on there as well. Um, the customization is amazing, guys. Now, I warn you, if you want to customize your character... Do it at the start and make sure you're happy with it because if you want to customize them again, you it costs, if I say change something, it does cost 3,000 coins to do it. Now you gain a lot of coins in game so um, it doesn't make a massive difference anyway but yeah if you want to customize your character guys, uh, I want to say that this, um, the customization of Cyber Hunter is miles beyond the customizations of other games there's so many more customizations you can do on characters as you can see my character right here um my character right there i've customized him loads i've made him look weird because i'm not going to play on this server this is a southeast asian server um but yeah i've made him look really really weird now we're going to move on to clothes i've unlocked a few clothes already they're the ones i've actually unlocked there's not as many clothes on there at the moment skins um they are going to add more over time um, weapons, vehicles, uh, there's also a skateboard, I'm not sure what this is for, uh, I'm not sure, I think this is the glider, um, you can't actually use this in the game, uh, it's just your glider, so you can obviously get new skateboards to, uh, to glide down. Um, actions as well, guys, there's a lot of emotes you can use in the game, which I'll go through in a second. Um, actually, I'm going to uh, give you a demo of the emotes that I'm going to use now, so uh, check this out. Thank you. 
Okay, so, uh, cringe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, secondly guys, um, we're gonna go to the, uh, supply crates now. Um, you can obviously, every game obviously you can purchase supply crates, um, they cost, um, they cost, uh, I'm not sure what the diamond currency is, I think they're called V-Coins in here. Um, so you can buy, here's the screen guys where you can buy all of the V-Coins, you can get bonuses for buying them as well. Um, so it's the same as every other game, you can top up. But the skins in here guys are actually amazing as you can see there. You've got, you can unlock a legendary supply, you can open 1 for 128 and behind my webcam you can open 10 for 1148. Uh, you've got master supply boxes as well, you've got elite supply boxes. So there are quite a lot of skins in the game already, um, which are pretty cool. Uh, we've also got the um, Battle Pass as well, guys. So there are two tiers of the Battle Pass. You've got... See, the good thing about this game, guys, is the single Battle Pass, you can you can unlock stuff at every level. Now, in most other games, they only add a couple of things in the in the Battle Pass, the common Battle Pass. Um, so even when you get to level 40, um, you can claim... Um, you can claim... Amazing stuff. You can get supply crates as you go. But obviously, guys, you, you can uh, activate the pass as well. The pass at the moment, um, I'm in the UK, so it costs $6.49, which is around $10, and $18.99 for the upgraded one, which is 60% off at the moment. So if you do want to buy the Quantum Quick Pass, make sure you do that. Also got quests as well, guys. If a lot of you guys have played PUBG Mobile, you'll know that you can unlock a lot of stuff by doing missions and quests in the game. So you can gain stuff. There you go. Assault Warrior. Kill four or more players with an SMG. So you can gain more coins and V coins through there. You can do challenges as well, which you can read through. There's different weekly challenges. Week 8 at the moment, which the season is about to end. Um, because the new season is about to start on the 25th. So it's going to be a fresh season. So get grinding. Um, medals as well. You can collect medals uh, through claim rewards. Exactly the same as um, PUBG Mobile. There's a lot of stuff. You can get a first recharge reward as well. If you top up, you can gain the Golden Age. Um, the Golden Age sort of uh, rifle. And other sort of stuff as well. You've got four player squads. Competitive solos. You can play duos as well. Um, and that is basically uh, all there is to know. Apart from, we've also got leaderboards as well. Which shows all the season leaderboards. What tier you are. Um, the best firearms, the best um, champions, the, the, mo the most kills. So we have got leaderboards as well. We've got a battle leaderboard. Um, yeah, there's uh, also um, path of growth as well. So it's even more ways to earn coins in the game. Um, you can do missions here as well. Um, so like I said on the home screen, you'll always get notifications when you can unlock something. So always check that out. Also got the uh, character screen right here, so it shows all of your personal data, firearm data, recent matches, basic info, you can change your name, country, etc. So there's so many co uh, customizations in this game, guys. So this video was purely going over weapons and skins and stuff in the game. Not really much else I can show you, so in the next video I'm going to upload some gameplay, so look out for that. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you whack a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and... Um, yeah, if you enjoy the content, make sure you comment down below, um, and I'll just release more. So, I'm going to be working closely with the developers, guys. They're going to be giving me um, release stuff before it releases, and etc. So, yeah, check it out. Whack a thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, boy! Gila.